About 10 days ago, I signed a petition asking the state of Georgia to spare the life of an innocent man. This man's name was Troy Davis. On Wednesday, September 21st, Troy Davis was killed. Troy was originally convicted of killing a Georgia State police officer. But after the trial, seven of the nine witnesses admitted that police had pressured them to lie in the courtroom, and they recanted everything they had stated. Yet Georgia's criminal justice system thought that justice would be killing an innocent man. I signed this petition 10 days ago around 2 in the morning and there had already been thousands of signatures, tens of thousands of signatures and thousands of people writing comments begging them to not kill him. I added a comment to like, and I thought that after the state of Georgia had seen all these people begging them to save his life and telling them that this was unjust, they would change their ways. But no, racism wins yet again. In the 1800s and the 1900s, what went on was that people would take a black person and lynch them because they just hated them so much. And today, we do that through a means that is a lot less sneaky, and we don't kill them and put their body out for everyone to see. We kill them in a dark room, in a cell, and not many people hear about it. I was just so angry when I learned what had happened to him, but we can't just be angry about this. We have to use his story and his innocence and the life that he lived as inspiration to change this so that it doesn't happen to other people. Benjamin Franklin, one of our founding forefathers, once said, it is better 100 guilty persons should escape than one innocent man should suffer. And I don't know how many people it's going to take, how many innocent people it's going to take to die until we end capital punishment. We have the power to change this. You know what? I was one of the tens of thousands of signatures who signed that, but the reason that they still killed him was because they knew enough people in Georgia didn't care who were going to elect them. And so guys, if enough of you care, if you write your congress congressmen and your representatives, I'm going to link below a link where you can go and type in your zip code and find your congressman and representatives and you can copy and paste something in the down bar into the, into the little email box and sign your name and just send that to them. It will take you probably like less than a minute because we have an obligation to fix this problem. This is evil and we as creatures with morality, we have an obligation to change that. I don't like being ashamed of living in the United States. I don't like being ashamed of calling myself a United States citizen, but I am. After Troy was killed, I am. I'm ashamed to live here. And I'm going to work for the rest of my life to try to change things like this happening. And this video is just one little thing, and I hope that it inspires you guys to go out and tell all of your friends and the people you know about that Troy Davis, that he was killed for doing nothing. and. You know what? One day we can change this. But you can't be apathetic anymore. You have to stand up and you have to realize that you have a voice and you have internet and you have paper. I don't know. Send snail mail to do something to contact all the representatives and politicians you know to try to change this law.